Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and today I'll talk to you about how to solve the touch screen is no longer working on your iPhone after the iOS 17 update. Now, a touch screen has a lot of things to say, especially if it stops working on your iPhone. The first thing that I will tell you guys is to check your touch screen by just selecting the hardware tool software. So if you head over to your app store, like if it works a little bit on your iPhone, and simply open up your app store and simply type hardware test. Now the reason for you just um, for, for you to just do that is because if you just do that or run the hardware test for your device, it will give you all you know it'll literally show you why it is actually working. So if you tap on the touch screen test, this is gonna show you this. Now there are there gonna be a little dot here, so um, if it's like let's say it's not working for some of the potion here uh, that could potentially mean that you have problem with that specific um, part of the screen and potentially it will tell you it is of course a problem with hardware in that case just simply um go to the apple care and hopefully they'll solve the problem but if you have the ghost touch screen issue there are a couple of things that you guys can try to solve your problem first of all all you gotta do guys is head over to settings on your iPhone here and you wanna scroll down and select your accessibility and here you just gotta select touch. Now if you just come to the touch here, you'll see this option called haptic touch. So I would highly recommend you select it fast and just get back here. And so, all right, so once you come over here, open up the touch recommendations and make sure the whole duration is actually disabled. Now, if you enable the whole duration is if it's enabled, then this can actually cause you to solve your problems. So make sure to disable that and just get back here and select use final touch locations. Now go ahead and check your problems. Now, if you still have problems on your iPhone here, all you gotta do is just head over to your settings on your iPhone, then you will scroll down to general there tab software update if that happens right after the update for your iphone then updating the next you know next software can be a very good solution for you to solve problem because uh, it's in time look it's just update fixes um and issues that maybe prevent transferring the data or maybe it can be any other related problems can be solved with the next update now even after braiding your iphone to the latest um software version if it doesn't work then definitely got to get your iphone um to the app like here and hopefully they will solve the problem for you solve all right guys so that's it i hope you found this video useful if you think it does help you out be sure to hit a like and subscribe to the channel 